What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and we got ourselves a banger of a video today. We got ourselves an amazing Slush Rush Arctazolt off meta team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But shout out to my boy Jan for dropping this team. This team is looking fire. I cannot wait to hop onto that rank ladder and actually try to pick up some wins with it. But Arctazolt is the first Pokemon, the main Pokemon for this this team it's got the slush rush ability which doubles its speed in hail the life orb would make it do more damage and then it has two stab moves a bulk beak icicle crash and then stopping tantrum for its nice little coverage move and then protect right next to him on the right side is pokemon that's going to pair well with him it could set the hail and it is one of my favorite fossil pokemon is auroras over here with that light clay so we can actually set the hail for the slush rush arc result then we can actually set an aurora bell with light clay which will be huge neglect a lot of damage and then we can pop off with moves like freeze dry earth power and then we just have protect as our little coverage move then down in the behind my face cam, we got Heatran, nice little legendary over here with Flash Fire and Assault Vest, and I absolutely love this moveset on him. He just seems like an absolute beast. We got Magma Storm, Flash Cannon, Earth Power, and Dragon Pulse. Like, this thing can hit, like, anything at once. Over on the right side, one of my favorite grass Pokemon, as well as Trevenant, with the Harvest and the Citrus Berry, Ghost and Grass, like, mm, it's fire. It is fire. You got Poltergeist. Wood Hammer, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Protect. Something I love about this team is this, it's just all off meta Pokemon. Like, you will never really see a lot of these Pokemon, so it's just going to be so much fun to use on that rank ladder. Bottom left corner, we got ourselves Licky Licky over here, Oblivious Ability, Weakness Policy as well with Double Edge, Gyro Ball, Hammer, Arm, and Protect. And then in the final spot, we got a Beast of a Pokemon. We got Gallade over here, Psychic and Fighting type with Steadfast Ability, Focus Sash, you can set a Trick Room or cancel out Trick Room, Vacuum Wave, Close Combat, and Will-O-Wisp. I absolutely love Will-O-Wisp considering it can just take out physical Pokemon just by putting a burn on them. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this off meta team. Two of our Pokemon are not ready for ranked battles, which means we're on to the casual ladder, which I really don't mind. I have a blast doing casual battles, and I feel like this team will thrive a little bit better in the casual ladder, considering a lot of the meta Pokemon will just dump on these guys easily. But first battle coming at you guys, this guy's got Charizard, Metacross, Abomasone, Noivern, Nidoking, and Tyranitar. Awesome team right here. It's looking fire. It's looking amazing. Um, who should I lead? Do I lead the Ice Combo? We could lead the Ice Combo, get uh, Slush Rush rolling, and then if he leads Charizard, we can absolutely dump on it in one shot with a Hailstorm. I kind of like that. I am kind of liking that. I think that's a play. Hmm. Then we got Quake to cover on that uh, Metagross, which is actually really, really nice. I'm going to go there and there. And then I really don't want to pop the weakness policy, but I will set on Aurora Bell easily. That would be perfectly fine. Um, Pokemon in the back. Could go Trevenant. Trevenant's not bad. I don't want Heatran. I feel like Heatran's going to thrive here. So I'm going to bring Heatran. And then in the final spot, spot it's either Trevenant or Glade. Who do I want? Do I want Grassy Boy? We're gonna lead. I feel like Grassy Boy's just gonna get torn up by the Noivern. Uh, the Charizard can dump on it as well. Hmm. So we just go Glade here. Glade with that Focus Sash in the back end. We can actually put Burns on a few Pokemon as well. And it can hit pretty hard as well. That's not bad. That's not bad. We got two big attackers with the Heatran and the Arctozolt. And then we got a nice little support mod with the Auroras. And then Glade can come in the back end, maybe pick up KO with Vacuum Wave. Or just eat up a shot with the Focus Sash and roll into like close combat. Or just put Burns all around. But. Dude, this team's looking awesome. I always love using off-meta teams. They're always so much fun. It's just something different. It makes the game feel a little bit more fresh and a little bit different, which I absolutely love, especially when you play the game a lot. It just it just seems to get old really quick. But, yo, look at the duo. The shiny pairing on this, they look like they're meant for each other, these two. They're both white. They're both white. They look fire. And I think I think they both have, like, a little tint of yellow into them. But snow is set. I'm definitely going to set up my Aurora Bell, hands down. Get this thing rolling, and I am going to Dynamax you. And I think I just quake. I think I Quake here. Is that the play? I think that's the play. Hopefully he doesn't Dynamax that Metagross, which he actually might, which is kind of scary. Let's see what he does. If he doesn't, we're thriving. If he doesn't, we're thriving. I, I don't think we're going to kill it uh, without a Dynam- or uh, even if he doesn't Dynamax. I don't think we're one-shotting it regardless if he Dynamaxes or not. That's what I'm trying to say. But I would love to get some big damage on this Metagross considering it's an absolute monster of a Pokemon. But I'm hoping it doesn't Dynamax so we don't trigger weakness policy and then just absolutely dumps on one of my Mons. But I would think he would go after Auroras with a Steel Spike. That's what I would think he would go after. And Auroras should be able to outspeed it and get off a uh, Aurora Bell before it even dies. So I don't mind if it goes down if we just get as long as we get up with the Aurora Bell. Here's my Quake. We're going to get a special defense boost. I'm not sure. I think they're both physical attackers. I know Metagross is physical. But nice damage. Yeah, see, I knew we weren't going to take that thing out. I knew we weren't going to take it out. Please show me no policy. Is it policy? Is it policy? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Let's see what's got. 
No policy. I love to see it. You love to see it, baby. Oh, and you go after that. I thought you were going to go after Aurora's. And he is going to end up getting the attack boost, which is huge. But we still outspeed. We should be totally fine. Aurora Bell gets popping here. And he does outspeed my Aurora's. Which I didn't think he would. Bomber Snow goes last with a Rock Slide. That's totally fine. Super effective on my Aurora's. Gotta go take some buff damage. Is that going to pick up the KO? It's not. It's not. And then I just go into a... Uh... I'm just going to go into an Earth Power. Take this thing out. Hey, yo, get out of my face. Actually, what's Earth Power's... Uh... Hit rate. 100. Okay, okay. 100. Take this thing out and then roll into a. Uh, do I set a terrain? I think I set a terrain on the. Mm, no, I do not want to set a terrain on the bomb snow. Jeez, man. Yo, this bomb snow just eats up everything except for ice, which is weird. Electric and ground is not very effective, but ice is normal? <laughs> kind of weird. But, you know, I'll hit it with it. Take this thing out. Our result's an absolute beast. It's so strong. It is such a strong Pokemon. We dump on that thing in one turn. Should be able to eat off this shot, no problem from this thing. Oh, now Aurora's outspeeds? It's a I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused. How Aurora's outspeeds now. When it didn't outspeed last turn. Is that, is that a little weird? Unless it was trying to use like Trick Room or something? I, I don't know. I don't know. Ptar comes out here. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm just gonna dump on that Ptar. That thing might be policy. Nido King comes out. I gotta drop ice onto that uh, Ptar. Super effective. Get some big old stab damage rolling on that thing. And then Nido King's pop. And I could just drop a Earth Power into it if I want to. But I'm probably just drop a Freeze Try. Freeze Try is super effective. Oh, on both. On both. But quick. We're done. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna drop this on the Titar. I feel like uh, I think Aurora's can uh, do work on its own. I thought Ice was super effective with Titar. I guess it's Dark type and kind of neglects it. But Nido King don't want it. Nido King do not want it. Probably gonna Dynamax the Titar. Or you could Dynamax the Nido King. Either way, they're both. Viable Dynamaxes. Let's see who goes in there. I think I think he, I, I think he's going into the Titar. If I was him, I'd go into the Titar. We got my my really yellow drink. Super yellow, super delicious. Got a lot of stuff in it. All the goods in it. It's pineapple. This pineapple. It's delicious, man. Got all my amino acids, all that good stuff in there. So we rocking with that. He takes a Dynamax. Good thing we are not going super effective because if we proc weeks policy, I think that's the only way we're losing this match. But not bad damage, not bad damage. Buffett's gonna start taking him down a little bit. And we change the weather back to what we wanted it to be. Get your sandstorm out of my face, I'm not dealing with it. Unless he's chopping a rock. You know King digs. You biscuit, man. This dude digging. He ain't playing around. Smart play by him. That is an attack with a dig. Strike's coming out. Oh, he's slowing us down, yo. You crazy, man. You crazy. How would you do that? Why wouldn't you just go into like a, a rock ball? That would have been a smart play. I think my Zolt still outspeeds him now. Pretty sure I comes out. But the good thing is, uh, oh no, never mind. It's alright. Nido King's already, uh, faster than Aurora's. But I need Nido King to be faster than Aurora so we can actually land an attack when it comes out from Dig. I'm just gonna Earth Power. Actually, no. I, when I freeze dry on this side, get that stab damage. And then I think I just Icicle Crash over onto you. And just keep doing more damage to this T-Tar slot. Go so Icicle Crash lands. Built. Doing some nice damage. That thing's gonna go down. We, we got this one in the bag because I can just pull out a and have vacuum wave come out here. Dick comes out. Do we eat Dick? We do eat Dick. All day, baby. All day. I feel like this guy's Pokemon aren't EV trained. Sometimes you get that on the casual ladder where they're not EV trained. There goes my Zolt. This dude's striking again, which is kind of weird. Which is kind of weird. Like, what move are you using to max strike? Like, an optimal move set for Cheetar is gonna be like a, a dark move, a rock move, and a ground move, right? And then protect. And then Freeze Dry just cleans this thing up easily. Tell it to get out of my face. I'm not dealing with you. And then Buffett's come out. And then I just bring out Glade and we're, we're thriving. We still have Heatran. I actually want to bring out Heatran. Try to drop a Magma Storm. I know I, I never saw like that moves like what is it called? It moves uh animation. But I really do want to see it. I think it will take it out. Hopefully it'll take it out. I'm just gonna protect. If not Buffett's will take it out. Magma Storm. What's his base damage? 100. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I should have actually just, uh, oh, you keep guards, yo. Come on, man. What you doing, man? I'm gonna protect here, too. <laughs> I just wanna see Magma Storm. But he ran out speed, so I am gonna double up into this slide just in case I, I missed Magma Storm, considering it's 75 accuracy. We all gonna take Buffett's damage. And what was the point of that, my dude? What's the point of protecting? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You just wasted your last time next time. Then you're tiny. Now you are tiny, kind sir. EP gonna drop here and then Magma Storm because I want to see the animation. 
But if I was actually like playing like ranked or like something where like I need to win, I'm obviously bringing out Glade and I'm hitting it with that vacuum wave, 100%. 100%. Battle was canceled and we don't get to see that magma storm. Dang it, dude. We're back, hopping into battle number two, and this guy's got a really strong team right here. He's got the Alcreme and Galarian Moltres combo, so we can actually decorate it, boost that thing's special attack, and roll off from there. And then he also has a Clefairy for support, the Intimidate Landorus. Uh, the Salamence Slayer and Intimidate, I think it might, so that's also scary. It's actually pretty scary. And then, again, like I said, that Galarian Moltres and the Alcreme combo is definitely very strong. I think I lead, I might lead Heatran just for that case. And then send an Aurora Veil. And then bring Zolt in the back. And then in the final spot, Trevant. I think that's a play. I can dump on Alcreme pretty easily. I can get a Rorvel set up, bring in Arctos Zolt, pick out the Glarian Moltres, and then have Trevenant in the back end for like Landorus. Because Landorus is probably going to come in here and be just chilling. But yeah, I think that's a play. I think that's a play for battle number two. First one, we absolutely wrecked. Second one, we're hoping to actually get a win streak rolling. But if you guys haven't seen, there's like big rumors about uh, Pokemon Master Collection coming out for the Switch, which would be Gens 1, 2, and 3. That'd be absolute fire. I would love to get my hands on that. Do playthroughs on all that games. And then they're saying Gen 4 HD Remake, not just porting it over. Like an absolute HD Remake, kind of like how Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was. And then, um, then what was the other game? And then uh, Let's Go, a new Let's Go. Let's Go's aren't bad. I, I feel like they're fun. And then we got Pokemon Snap on the way and Pokemon Unite. So a lot of news for Pokemon. This dude named this thing Dragon. <laughs> Obviously, it's Dragon. Dragon intimidated us. Um, are we both physical? I think we're both physical. I think, but we're gonna drop a flash gun. I think I just drop a freeze dry. I think I just drop a freeze dry here. I, I think I don't waste uh, no time trying to get off damage on these things. Instead of setting up for an orbit, I can always do it next turn. No, it's doing next turn, baby. Yeah. What you gonna do, dude? He's Dynamax. He's Dynamax that Salamence. He is Dynamaxing that Salamence. Can Salamence be special attacking? I feel like it can. Just give it special attack moves, and I feel like it's special attack isn't bad at all. But yo, Salamence rocks, yo. I love Salamence, and I can't believe we don't see him as much as we uh as much as we thought we would on the rank ladder. I think it's because uh, there's so many Pokemon that counter dragons, like the top boos and all that stuff. He's gonna decorate you biscuit man. He's boosting, he's boosting. That's the attack. Oh no, I, I forgot to decorate uh, gives attack boost too. And he's gonna go for a max quake here until it roars. And the roars just dropped, man. So even if we were getting off a uh, even if we were getting off a what's it called? An Aurora Bell, we wouldn't have done it. But I'm totally fine by that. I'm just gonna bring an Arc Dizzle. I got the speed advantage and I'm gonna absolutely get after Hopefully this flash cannon actually doesn't take out the South this turn. And we miss anyway, which is whack. Oh no, it has a Babiri Berry. That's fine. I actually, I actually didn't want to take it out because I didn't want him bringing in Clefairy and just neglecting a bunch of my damage. So, I really do like that. Really do like that. Oh, this thing's called Dragon. Oh, they're both called Dragon. <laughs> in different fonts. I was confused for a little bit. But yeah, I didn't want Clefairy coming in. So now I can actually bring in an Arctozole. I outspeed with a Slush Rush. And I should be able to just dump on the Salamence in one shot. I believe so. Stab, super effective. Get him out of my face. And does Hail give Ice more damage? I feel like it should, but I'm not 100% positive. I'm just gonna drop back into that. Dynamax. Hellstorm over on this side. We're gonna get rolling. He could guard and go into Clefairy. That would be the smart play, but I just don't see this guy doing this. That would be so smart if he ends up doing that. Max guards the Salamence. Switches out. Oh my god, that'd be fire. That'd be a fire turn. That would win him the game, I think. That would win him the game. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. I don't think he's swapping. It would have swapped first, right? Yeah. So that, that's a plus for us. But that would have been like the play. That would have been the play. Like some, sometimes I'm on I'm on my game with thinking about these matches. Like if I only, if I thought about that all the time, I'd be a top tier Pokemon player. But I never think that far ahead. Like I always think like after the play. Hellstorm comes out. You don't get bopping here. It should take out, right? I think it cares. Yeah, get him out of my face. Drop that boy, yo. So that's just mm. This thing's fire, dude. This is a force to be reckoned with. All day long. All day long. Take that thing out. Um, and then Alcrime is not going to do anything too special. He's going to try to decorate. <laughs> out my face, dude. Waste of a turn. Flash Cannon comes out. I don't think Flash Cannon KOs. Brings it down the red, right? Yeah, it brings it down the red. Um, and then Buff has come out. Do I really have to worry about it? I don't think a Buff is going to take that out. Do I have a double hitting move? I don't think I do. But we're thriving this match. I feel like we got this one. Uh, we're going to start being able to clean up. We got speed advantage. Alcremate's not big of a threat anymore. 
considering it can decorate, but then my Arctic Soul is just going to drop a big move onto whatever Pokemon comes out next. Which is going to be... Who do you got? I don't think he brought Clefairy. I'm going to send out this Pokemon. It's called Dragon again. It is Clefairy. <laughs> it is Clefairy, and you know, I'm totally fine by that. Um, Drop a Flash Cannon, obviously. And then Hailstorm is our best bet. Stab damage. Or do I set a terrain? I feel like I set a terrain. I feel like I set a terrain here. Just so we have it. Just so we have that electric terrain in case he pulls out a Pokemon that can eat up an ice shot. And then we need to use an electric move and then we'll get the boost from the terrain. That's what I love about like new competitive Pokemon is there's you got you can set weather and terrain. I love when they add it terrain. It's just like it's just an extra added effect that that just adds to the competitive scene, which is amazing. Battle was canceled. There we go. Let's get it, guys. 2 0. Third and final battle coming at you guys. This guy's got two awesome legendaries with Zacian, Melmetal, and then he's got Flygon, Gengar, Cinderace, and Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff looks like a sleeper pick right here. I think this thing's got something up his sleeve and it's just going to dump on me. But who am I leading out here? Definitely Aurora's. Definitely Aurora's. I, I love Aurora Bell. I love setting up screens. I feel like that's such a key to victory sometimes. Is just get, being able to get off the screens and rolling out from there. I feel like I bring Trevenant. I kind of want to lead Trevenant. I ain't going to lie. I just absolutely love this Pokemon. Do I lead him? Well, I can see him leading Gengar, but then if he leads the... Ah, but then if he leads the Cinder, so then, then we got a problem. You know what? I'm just going to lead him. I'm just going to lead him anyway. Have some fun with the third battle. Arcazult in the back. And then Heatran? Yeah, I feel like Heatran comes better than the Glade or the Licky Lick. I think Licky Licky's like the, the worst one on the scene. Like, Licky Licky's a cool Pokemon, but it's not too good on the competitive scene. I feel like we bring Heatran here. We got that Fire typing, and then we, then we got that Steel. Which I feel like it rocks out. And then we got all those other coverage moves, which, which is awesome. But yeah, get that Aurora's out here. We have the Arctic Assault, Trevenant, and then the Heatran. But dude, Trevenant's so cool. I absolutely love this Pokemon. I love its design. I love everything about it. I love its typing. I love how it has Harvest. And it can Harvest another berry. Like, that is the best thing. When you use your berry, and he's just like, yo, I got another one. I got another one. <laughs> he's like DJ Khaled. He's like, another one. Then he eats it. Another one. <laughs> Keeps grabbing berries. He just rolls out from there. But he rolls into Melt Metal and uh, Flygon. Now I go Trevenant. Oh, dude, shiny Trevenant. Yeah. Beautiful. That's a that's a that's a pretty a pretty tree right there. It's a pretty looking tree right there. Snow warning pops. I like it. I like it a lot. And then we can just roll into obviously an Aurora Bell. I'd rather set up an Aurora Bell turn one. And I could go for Poltergeist. Hmm. The move fails if the target doesn't have an item. Oh heck yeah, you guys all have an item. Who do I take out? I feel like I take out you. I feel like I take out this flagon. No metal's an absolute monster. This thing's gonna go for an EP. EP, we should be able to eat up, right? Yeah, all day. All day from a Flygon. Roar Bell's getting popping. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We we pop here. All the guys have base 110. All the guys comes out. My dude's not holding an item? My dude's not holding an item? What you mean? Yo, what? Hold up. Wait a minute. This dude's not holding an item? Let me let me read that description again. See, this is what you- Oh, we harvested a berry, though. <laughs> we harvested a berry. That's hilarious. I'm gonna just dump on this thing, but... Wait a minute. It says, The user attacks the target by controlling the target's item. The move fails if the target doesn't have an item. What do you mean this dude doesn't have an item? I gotta, I gotta test the Mel Metal. I gotta test the Mel Metal. Are you, are you playing with, with, with none of this? Give me my berry again. We're gonna eat up again. Mm, give me my berry again. Can we harvest another one? <laughs> just keep harvesting. I'm just gonna probably protect next turn and try to harvest. Freeze Dry comes out here. Freeze Dry should be able to dump on this, no problem. Wow. Get him out of my face. But, dude! How are you playing Pokemon Battles with no items? Try to have flinches. Of course, Dynamic Punch comes out. Oh my roars. Roars is that up. Ooh, ooh, that's big damage. That's big damage. That's totally fine. Can we harvest the berries? Get it. Hit that harvest button. Hit that harvest button, buddy. Hit it. Give me give me another berry. Ah, he didn't harvest. He didn't harvest. I'm just gonna get that heat train. I'll save my arc I don't really care. I think like we we're fine with this battle. I'm not going for the poltergeist anymore, because if none of his Pokemon have items. Oh, who do I take out? Who's a bigger threat here? Who is a bigger threat? I feel like I Dynamax this thing. I feel like, I feel, I feel like the play is the Dynamax. Uh, Heatran. 
and just flare up on somebody. Mel Metal or Zassian? Zassian? No, they're both physical. I think that Mel Metal is not that big of a threat. This thing's plus one. And this thing has his sword on him, so I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go after this thing with a Polter, guys. I was gonna protect and try to harvest a bear here, but I wanna get some damage off on this Zassian, because maybe, maybe not, this uh, max player might not be able to take it out, because this thing's an absolute beast. Now, imagine if you can use the same rank, I feel like it would be on every single team. Namazet or Zassian. Is an instant attack boost or defense boost? Like, bro. Come on. Like, come on, my dudes. But he trying to get to Dynamax. Big fire guy. Secret Sword's popping. Kind of saw that one coming. We eat. That's why I want the Dynamax. Give me a bit more bulkiness to me. Here's this. And, okay, Zassian's gone. And we're going to see if Poltergeist can get on this Mel Metal. Or, if this, or is this thing not holding an item? What Pokemon is not holding an item? Is this one not holding one too? That'd be a little weird. Well, you guys. Like, this is why you're losing, buddy. Uh, Trevenant's gonna go down here. Unless he lives on one here, which would be amazing. Rats. Bruh, like, come on. This would be easy win if they had items. But, I guess not. We're still, we're still gonna probably win this one, I think. Another flare takes out my metal easily, and then we can just roll after this Wiggly Thump. Wiggly Thump, what's goody? What's goody, my dude? Did we take out two of his Pokemon so far? I think we have. Yeah, Flygon. We dumped on Flygon on a freeze dry. We just flare over onto this slot. And then. We just bolt beak. Bolt beak, baby. Bolt beak. And get slamming jamming on these fools. Ah, uh, hey. Get some nice damage on that thing. Is that. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, there. Uh, this one this one was kind of an easy match. He has no items on his Pokemon. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't EV trained either. No, just absolute dumb. That's GG. No metal goes down to the big little max flare. But yo, it, it kind of annoys me. We didn't get to really show off Trevenant too much. Like, we, we're trying to use Poltergeist twice, and he didn't have any items on his Pokemon. Awesome battles with this team. I absolutely love it. Jan, shout out to you for dropping it once again. The casual ladders are a lot of fun, but again, like I said, sometimes you get some people who don't EV train their Pokemon or put some items on it, and that's what we got in that third and final battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.